Alright, I'm making this video to share my experience of investigating a potential theory in The Witcher 3. I often have viewers offering wild speculations about all kinds of things in the game. You know, things like, maybe Vesemir actually poisoned the grain in White Orchard. What the? Or perhaps Geralt slept with Ciri at Kaer Morhen. Or that Triss is not really Triss, but she's actually Coral? Except magically transformed to look like Triss, and the list goes on and on, but this time I truly got intrigued by the suggestion. And while... Ah, uh, whatever, I'll spoil it for you, it's basically not true, as far as I can tell, but I still find it exciting and I can't quite explain it fully, so let me share my findings. I want to be rich. Hmm, but now... It started recently when a viewer by the name of Andrew Benjamin wrote to me claiming that he'd found Gontor Odim's body. Apparently, he realized that after the encounter with him at Lilvani's temple, you can slide down to the beach and not too far away, there is a peculiar lone corpse by the water. It resembles Gontor Odim quite a lot and it looks like it has been burned, both judging by the clothes and the face. And if you recall, that is more or less what happens to him if you beat him at his own game. Be gone. Finally, you can actually loot the corpse and what you get from it is a single apple. Now, as you probably remember, Gontor Odim can be seen carrying around and eating an apple during the wedding party with Shani and Vladimir. Go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. So, could it be, for example, that the body he occupied was somehow destroyed after this ending? Well, it seemed quite convincing. Sadly, when I started looking deeper into it, various cracks began to appear. First, I wanted to check if the corpse is there before, after or during the quest and whether or not it depends on the different outcomes. So I tried going to that place on a multitude of different saves and it turns out that the body is always there regardless of any circumstances. Additionally, it would seem like there's a small chance for it to drop crowns instead of an apple. Geralt? Although I did loot the apple the vast majority of cases, um, I did it probably 10 times and I think I only looted crowns twice. Yes, Geralt? Spoke with Radovid. The bastard. I also had a closer look at the corpse, and it does look very peculiar. I don't recall ever seeing such a dead body. Although I must admit, I don't exactly walk around zooming at every corpse I stumble upon. Anyhow, it does not exactly have Odim's face. They're not identical, but it still looks quite similar, especially from the side. Not so much from the front, though. Also, if you take a closer look at the clothing, you can notice that it's not exactly wearing the same outfit. And finally, I decided to check if this body was in the game before the release of Hearts of Stone. However, reinstalling the game without the expansion may not have been enough, since some of the expansion assets are actually part of the base game nowadays. Like, for example, if you don't have Blood and Wine installed, you can still see Palmerin's coat of arms in the Stonecutter's settlement where you're supposed to begin the Blood and Wine quest. So, as I said, I went a step further and I actually downloaded a pirated version of The Witcher 3, specifically one that only has the launch day patch. I gotta say, The Witcher 3 at launch was much better than Cyberpunk. But anyway, um, I did play through White Orchard and Vizima, and upon my arrival in Velen, I immediately rushed to the same spot, and the body is still there. So it turns out it's been sitting there for nearly six years, and sadly, it's very likely not related to Gontor Odim at all. I mean, 
They technically showed Oriana before the launch of the main game, but I certainly doubt that's something they've been planning all along. Regardless, I'm still not entirely sure what this burned corpse is doing here at the edge of the water. I mean, there are some more dead people on the island over on the other side, you know, next to the giant skeleton, which is probably a subject for another video. Anyway, if you've got any ideas, feel free to let me know, and if not, well, I thank you very much for watching anyway. Finally, special thanks to Andrew once again, as well as my supporters, and until the next video, stay tuned and be good.